The unit is equipped with a recirculating system for the service liquid as water, oil or fuels, etc. Pumping element which is not producing any mechanical friction. The gas is compressed and enters the separator together with part of the liquid. Here the gas is separated by gravity and after cooling through a heat exchanger it re-enters the compressor. Let us now analyze in detail the working cycle of a liquid ring compressor. It is mainly composed of three parts an impeller integral with a shaft, a double lobe casing and a distributing cone which puts in communication suction and discharge nozzles. The liquid, forced by the impeller veins, starts rotating and due to the centrifugal force disposes itself as you may see. Supposing to isolate a portion of gas and another of liquid, you will notice that these will dispose themselves in the area limited by two consecutive veins. During a rotation of 180 degrees due to the different section and to the different angular position of the opening of the cone, the gas undergoes a decrease in volume while increasing its pressure. In proximity of the discharge port, a part of the liquid is carried with the gas and conveyed towards the discharge port 